This is our 40 inch windmill head ordered from USA Scotts. We chose them after doing some research and finding they had the best deals and, and free shipping. That's a 40 inch head, but the tower we built modified it to uh, put it on uh, 12 foot 2x4s. So it's actually the the uh, 15 foot uh, plan. I sent an email to uh, USA Scotts and was really surprised. You know, I didn't get a, a response from customer service. I got a response from uh, Shannon Scott, you know, <clears throat> uh, who sent me by email the copy of the uh, uh, higher tower, and. He was kind enough to advise me to remember that the footprint, which actually is a base, should also be 40 inches so that it didn't you know, look like it was a tiny little head on a, a great big tower. Now, we actually live in North Carolina, but uh, my late brother was from Texas, so it just seemed appropriate to get a, a Texas uh, vein tail on it which came, you know, no additional cost. And at the time we bought the uh, windmill head, which is uh, June of 2015, you know, it was 229 free shipping. Uh, the blueprints for how to build the tower, you know, obviously came with it, but the ones uh, um, Shannon sent me, again, you know, I presume the owner of uh, uh, USA Scotts, you know, is for this tower here, which is actually on uh, 4 by 4 by 12 rather than 4 by 4 by 8. But the base is, in fact, 40 inches. You know, when building your, your windmill tower, you want to make sure that it's, you know, level. Where you're going to put it, uh, the plans actually call for you to drive rebar through the uh, 4 by 4. You know, I chose to use the uh, 4 foot. Uh, anchor stakes that have the little eyelets in it and then uh, wire those into the eyelets and then uh, slam them down. It just just seemed uh, uh, you know, a better look all the way around. <coughs> now the center is uh, anchored with a uh, auger eyelet on a turnbuckle you know, from the center of the tower. Now what I did was on the 4x4 that holds the spindle, I double wrapped uh, uh, a 30 foot braided cable and then ran it straight down. Yeah, for center stability. You know, we don't have a whole lot of breeze, but as you can tell, that you know, it spins real nice. You, know, you crank it all the way down and you back it off till you have free spin on it. it works fine. You know, the blueprints you know, call for uh, one by fours. I chose to use uh, one by sixes. You know, thought it gave a prettier look. You know, plus it adds the stability. Also, when you do the cross members, if you do the short end first, you have a whole lot more leverage, you know, to pull the uh, overlapping, you know, uh, brace into position. And the instructions for putting together the uh, head were, were very complete, easy to do. I'm almost 67 years old and this is a project, you know, with the exception of raising the uh, uh, tower itself, which took just two of us, even with the heavier wood, you know, was a piece of cake. You know, I chose the cedar stain because I thought it looked better and the reason I went with the uh, 12 foot 4 by 4s is because you know, I wanted to actually have a, a windmill look with the ladder and everything else. I mean the others are great for a garden and, and things like that but uh, this being in the, in the yard the way it is, you know, I wanted it to, to look you know, as realistic as possible. And. Uh, <coughs> The only mod I had to do between the uh, smaller head and the taller tower was at the very top, which I used uh, two 2x4s to cover. 
that uh, the spindle, you know, is actually set up higher on the 40-inch uh, head. So I had to, to modify the uh, blueprints a little bit, and also the angle of cuts, you know, I had to modify a little bit. But uh, uh, I mean, overall, it all came together great. You know, really pleased with the service I got from USA Scotts. You know, the uh, like I said, I used uh, one by sixes, and where you see the one by fours on the ladder and up on the uh, step there, I actually just used a table saw and cut the one by sixes down to a true one by four. Uh, the whole project, you know, if it hadn't been for, you know, 90 plus degree weather would have taken a day. You know, the uh, entire tower came in at uh, under uh, $200, but then again, I get a 10% discount at Lowe's because I'm retired military. But as you can tell, the quality and stuff, you know, is, is excellent. Windmill flow, you know, spins just great. You know, I would highly recommend USA Scotts to absolutely anybody. So if you're looking for a, you know, great, reliable, you know, windmill head and some really great instructions on how to build your tower and stuff, you know, go to usascots.com. They're great people and, and they'll help you any way they can. You know, the instructions that come with it you know, are dead on for the tower. Like I said, I modified you know, what I wanted and using the larger wood I obviously had to do some changes to the angles and stuff like that. <coughs> but if, if you're an inexperienced uh, woodworker or carpenter, all you have to do is lay the board down on it and scribe it on the back side yeah, with a pencil and then make you cut along that scribe and it all works out real real well again couldn't be happier thank you USA Scots